Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, good whatever time of day. Maybe if you, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the Layback Gamer, and we are back with some more Minecraft Hexit Reforged. And in today's episode, we're going to be tackling on... We're actually going to be taking on one of these many markers that we have out there. Yes, I know, we're doing this so soon. Uh, but there is a reason for that. If you look at our inventory, you'll see that we have a, a couple of fragments. We have Fragment of Noon and Fragment of Midnight. There are actually... You know, let's pull it up. There are actually two other fragments that we're going to need in order to... In order to complete the set here. And I actually don't quite remember what I... What it does. Well, I... It, let me rephrase that. I know it summons the Skeleton King. A skeletal king. I don't actually know what the skeletal king does, but we're gonna figure that out in with enough time. But yes, so we get a fragment of dusk from a villager golem. We got the fragment of noon from the wither boss. We get a fragment of midnight from the ender dragon, and the topic of this episode, we're gonna get the fragment of dawn from the elder guardian. And just so happens, if uh, I know I marked one out. Well, it's somewhere over that way, in that giant mess. Why don't we just pull this up a little bit better here? Here's a... Uh, let's see here. Oh, there we go. So there happens to be one pretty close by, and it's also at the bank of this, uh, this little island here, which I may or may not have a plan to turn this into something. What is that there? Actually, I actually never remember what was there. I know what this is. And quite frankly, it could go burn for all I care. You take some of that lava and just dump it into there. But anyways, we're going to go underneath the underwater and pick the and get that. Now, I was setting up for... I was getting trying to get myself set up to brew some potions for water breathing. However, I I then noticed when I was looking for a puffer fish, actually, ironically, it was in the same chest, uh, I already had two lying around, which, hey, you know what? That's, uh, that's, uh, that's pretty good. I'll, I'll take two. That's, I don't know what I'm trying to say at the moment. Oh boy, my tongue's tied. Anyways, uh, I noticed I already had two, and so therefore we don't actually need to bring any. We, we don't need any water breathing potions. Although I would like to take a bucket of milk with us. Uh, don't want anything from here. No. Still have the elytra that we have to muck around with. We'll eventually do some things with it. Can I modify the elytra? Elytra. Here we go. I can give it a dragon scale. And uh, just dye it black. Okay. That's fine. And we can use leather to repair the... Oh yeah, phantoms have yet to be invented. Uh, Let's see here. Curse of binding and breaking, mending, and curse of vanishing. So, unfortunately, no, not really anything interesting with the, uh, with the elytra. Alright, so let's go ahead and... Sails to the end. I really got to get this cleared out, but we will in time, because well, this is a, diff a slightly different season. Like I had said the last time, it's a season where we really get into immersive engineering, Tinker's construct. As you can see by the two tools in our inventory, we uh, we picked up both the Manulium broadsword as well as a host of different a, bit, a host of different modifiers. As well as we also got a pickaxe. And, well, we kind of need that pickaxe for other things. So, anyways, let's go ahead and we shall set sail for the island. Now, I'm not actually going to, well, I don't think this is that too far away. Oh, yeah, we still have to conquer one of those slime islands. We'll do that a little bit later. Oh, look, a pirate ship. Yeah, I haven't been raiding any pirate ship at all, by the way. Uh, on our way, I, I've mainly avoided them. So, that's kind of a, I guess, a fortunate thing. Because it'll give us plenty of, uh, plenty of 
uh, plenty of loot on the sea to plunder, which is always a good thing. Oh yeah, we have a lot in this direction. And don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we will eventually be getting to all of those at some point in this season. This is going to be a bit of a longer season just because, well, the nature of we have quite a bit to raid from every different fat, well, from most factions out there. There'll be a couple of episodes, there might be a small uh, string of episodes where I say, uh, where, say I go over here and I take out maybe a few over this way before heading home. Maybe uh, there's another one dedicated to over there before I also head back. Uh, that's not the island that I'm looking for. Oh, there it is actually on the mini. Yeah, that wasn't too far away. No really need to put a jump cut in. Granted, when I'm going for the far away ones, yeah, we'll be putting a jump cut in there. Just have to be careful of the sharks. I don't actually know if the sharks are going to get in the way. But I got everything that I need. I have my bucket of milk. I got some water breathing potions. Honestly, a couple of night vision potions would have been a, a fantastic choice. Yeah, look at what we got here. We have a little tropical island. We can explore with... Oh, that's right. It's a pool of oil. Hi, Foliaths. Let's test out our new pickaxe, or new sword. Oh, wow. I'll take that. <laughs> Bad folia. Bad. Yeah, this is honestly not a half bad of a little area here. Just have to clear off all the foliaths. I should have brought a bed with me. Oh, wait, I did bring a bed with me. <laughs> oh, looks like I was thinking in my head. But yeah, this was one of the islands that I saw on my journey here. Well, my journey out into the, uh, into the world beyond. Nice little tropical place. Ha ha ha! Too slow, my friend. Too slow. All right, let's, uh, well, no, we'll, we'll wait for sunset, and then we'll pop out when it's, uh, when we switch, when it's, uh, daytime. Oh, is that an orca over there? No, it's just a shark. But yeah, that's the monument, and I think underwater there, I was seeing some Elder Guardian lights. Which, if you don't know what those are, hi, Mr. Shark. Don't worry, I'll be, uh, I'll be down to kill you in a little bit. We go Elder, there's actually a, a bunch of, from Quark, uh, a bunch of Elder Prismarine. So we have... Why is there a map of the Elder? Probably don't. Well, cool. I got some Prismarine and a bit of Elder, elder Prismarine. I can make more Elder Prismarine. Of course, we have all these chiseled stuff. Let's go ahead and rest up for the night. And we'll keep the bed plop down here, just in case. Uh, I don't want to die under there, because that's going to be terrible for me. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the shulker box here. Let's toss the fragments, as well as our uh, sword. Let's see, and our tools. This is not going to actually be useful for us under underwater anyways. No, we'll take both of them. The torches will be, because this is in a vert, in case we need to, you know, breathe really quickly, but let's head on in. Sad that this is going to take us a while to get down, because, well, this is still before the switch, before we got the update to swimming. Oh my, this is going to hurt. Alright, pop this.
Yeah, I probably should have brought a, uh... Definitely should have brought something to help me see. Oh, a sponge room. Interesting. I have to wonder, how fast can this pickaxe actually mine? Oh, we're not going to be able to mine through any of this stuff. Yeah. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Oh, hello. Hey. That's just rude now. Let's not do that. Oh, yeah, the temperature. I completely forgot about that. That's, uh, that's not good. Uh, I might actually die from the temp- from, uh, hyperthermia. Guardian scale, which is interesting. How much is the mining fatigue going to last for? Oh dear. I gotta get out of here. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Oh dear. Yeah, I forgot about that. Thanks for that. I forgot about the hyperther hy hyperthermia. Hypothermia? Yeah, I forgot about the hypothermia. Uh, okay, so that's going to be a bit of an issue. I'm going to need to get a... Because I don't think I have anything... Yeah, I've got nothing on my armor that's going to help. It's superheated. Uh, here, this is what I need. Huh? Okay, well, I guess my plans have kind of been a little uh, thwarted because of uh, game mechanics. Oh yeah, we're not getting our bed back either. I'm not getting my shulker box back either. Oh, that's unfortunate. Or I could just wait here for a few minutes. Yeah, I could wait for a little bit. So while we do that, I'm going to need to get uh, some heat resistance potions. Now, how did I get heat resistance? Requires a magma shard. Okay. I guess magma shards come from uh, breaking down magma blocks. Do I even have any? Probably. No, I don't. I wouldn't, because I didn't actually bother to collect any. Huh. Don't suppose I can break that, too. Boats doesn't count, though. Alright, well, sorry if you can hear the barking, but while we wait, why don't we go ahead and uh, raid this pirate ship? Let's see if we can at least climb on board of it. Oh, it's got a beacon on the back of it, too. Hello, pirates. Now, could you please point me in the direction of how to get onto your ship? Ah, there is no way. I'd have to build up to it. Well, if I could build up to it, I wouldn't be in the current predicament that I'm in. Unless... Huh, that 
was an unexpected result. Hi, boys! Oh, wow. This is a very powerful sword. Hello, gentlemen. Hi. Oh, hi, that's the captain. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot they could use doors. I forgot they could use doors! Whew. That was a close one. Yeah, let's just pop in here for a moment. <laughs> My bad, ladies and gentlemen. I forgot they could use doors. Also, we also got a guardian shell. What can I do with a guardian shell? Ah, apparent. Oh, this is what I need to make the ultimate material. So look at that. I can make one ultimate material now. Unfortunately, we still need quite a bit in order to make the bench. And on here we use to make the ultimate uh the other ultimate pieces I, wow that's a lot of iron swords let's uh merge a few of these together uh, da, 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 da. yeah this is by the way what i was doing when i raided a couple other settlements just combining those together because quite frankly if I tried to store all of them, I would only have maybe enough room for one place. Let's see what we got up here. Could you guys maybe stop shooting me for two seconds so I can get on, back onto the ship and fight you? Bye, Captain. Goodbye. Anybody above me? Yep, there is. I have a bow. I don't have. Sorry, I don't have any arrows. Give me two seconds, good sir, and I will make you. Ooh, almost fell down there. That might have been bad. That might have been bad. So we are going to have to go grind out all those guardians in order to get enough for the uh, the ultimate pieces. Okay, now that these guys have been cleared out, and looks like our mining fatigue's completely gone away. Fantastic. Got a wither skeleton. Got some chests around here. And I believe this place should have a few beds for us to take as well. Hello. Pirate voodoo. They cannot be allowed to exist. Quickly, kill them all! Yes, yes, you all must fight the bullet. That all of them? Oops, I should probably, uh. I'm hoping that's a pirate. No, I actually am hoping that's not a pirate. Alright, let's tear these down. Now, oh, there's still one guy up here. Also, yeah, <laughs> your inventory fills up really quickly from all the equipment. So you have to be constantly repairing, uh, repairing the tools that they give you. Which, fun fact, we could then take this and smelt it down to more iron. So, I mean, hey, look at that. Did you ever believe at one point we were pretty strapped for iron? Like, we had no iron. Well, we couldn't use iron. Let me rephrase that. Oh, it's night time. You know what? Let's take a Let's take a snooze. Aboard the pirate vessel. What a thrilling sight to see. Alright, let's pop up above deck. Where is this pirate? Oh, I think I see him there. <sighs> Ooh, 
There we go. That should be the end of you. And, well, let's go ahead and take our plunder. Take some of the plunder. We'll be back here. Uh, I'll be back here to take the ship. Uh, to take everything, obviously, at some point. But let's just loot through here and take our haul. Which, we're getting some diamonds, which is really good. We can use that to make more chests. Although, a really nice, I, really nice prize is going to be that beacon. take that. We'll, uh, we'll get using those beacons in good time. Now let's go back below ship and see if we can find anything else that's worth our time. Alright, this is, uh, another chest that got mixed up. Ooh, an advanced loot chest. Probably gonna have some goodies in it. Oh, both of these were advanced. Okay, so. We'll take that. Like I said, I'll come back for the rest of the stuff a bit later. No need to take all of it home. We're just going to take the good stuff. Fish. I'll take the bread. We can at least eat that right now. Oh, this spawn. This spawn kind of weird. Not sure why it did. Alright, let's combine those. Drop the fish. Drop that. Gold dragons. Now those I'll take with me. Copper owls and silver stags. We'll take that. Oh, there we go. Ooh, food bundles. Those will actually be valuable to us. Take the gold. Did I see any gold in here? I did, and for some reason, I did not pick it up. Well, that is just shame on me. Shame on me. Was there anything else? I think there was some, at least something else. Oh, here we go. Another gold. And nothing else. Now, was there anything on the other side of this? I don't think so. Yeah, probably not. Okay, let's hopefully that wipes that thirst debuff away from us. Okay, so... We've we've discovered that in order to actually get at the depths of that place of the monument, which I should have thought of in the first place, we're gonna need to find ourselves some. Hold on. We're gonna need to get uh, we're gonna need to get some heating potions, which is fine by me. It's just an extra step that we gotta take. Which is a little bit annoying. But had we actually not had to worry about it, we probably could have cleaned that plate. We could have cleaned out the ruins nice. Could have cleaned that out. The, could, the, the, uh, I can't talk, apparently. Uh, let's see here. Toss our newly acquired iron into there. Plus all this nice loot. Not a bad haul, honestly. It could, it, well, it could be it could be better. But I think next time when we come back, I'm going to be more prepared. And by more prepared, I mean we're going to be getting collecting just a little bit of sand from these beaches here. So that way I can get some, I can get some heating potions brewed up. So yeah. Bit of a bad blunder on my part, but hey, you know what? We also got to loot a pirate ship, too. Took all of them out. And that's kind of how I got a lot of this. Ooh, I'll take that, too. Thank you, my fine my feathered friend. I'll take all that and just head home. All right, yeah, I think I'll put it in a jump cut here. So I'll see you when we reach bet when we hit our ship. When I 
get back to the shores. And there's home sweet home. Alright, let's pop out and start, uh, start getting... Oh, I have a ton of glass in here. I don't know why I keep bringing home more. Although I'm probably going to want to get more water breathing potions, so... Need that's for one. Yeah, that'll do there. Alrighty, so next step is we're going to need to get our brewing stand going again. And we'll start cooking up a few potions. Oh, oh my goodness, excuse me. Shouldn't be tired, although, to be fair, I, I think I'm just always tired. tired. Which is a. I was about to say a tiring state to be in, but that just sounds terrible. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and place that there. And fill three of these up. And then to quickly go down to our nether wart farm. Well, the tiny bit of it that's still there. We'll eventually get the Oh, by the way, I don't know if I showed, but I did actually uh, use all that stone brick I had to build up the wall a little bit more. The inside's not still not quite filled up just yet, but we'll uh, I'll be getting around to that at some point. All right, so now we'll take this. We'll brew up the uh, puffer fish that I got in one of the chests up here. Then, oh, after that, I'll get us the water breathing that we need. Oh yeah, that's right. Where's my blaze rods? There's a puffer fish. Blaze rods are down here somewhere. Uh, let's place the bed here for now. Still pretty happy with how this place is coming along. It still needs a little more work done to it, but honestly, it's coming along pretty nicely. Uh, let's see here. There we go. I should probably need the wood. Toss those into there. And quickly look up. We need to make a night vision potion. Actually, hold on. I'm pretty, yeah, I'm pretty sure I have a lot of, I should have a lot of books sitting around here. It didn't look like we, we, only, we may only be get, may have only gotten a hyperthermia, hypothermia one. So let's see here, uh, at, uh, what was it called? Oh, uh, tough as nails. Ow, oh my eye, ow, that hurt. Thermometer. Oh, nice. Yeah, we have a couple of warming enchantments. Huh, cool. Uh, let's see if we have some warming books. I hope we do. Well, we certainly have a lot of books here. Uh... Breaking, efficiency, lightning resistance, fire aspect, reading. I don't know why we have one for reading. And I don't see any there. Sort it. No, I have some. I thought I had some warming enchantments in here. Uh, uh, fire aspect, soul stealing. There we go. So we have one, two, three. Oh, I got four. Oh, that'll be nice. Actually, let's toss that down there. Take the take these books and then put them into here. Now I need to start clearing this chest out too, so let's go ahead and toss that into there. 
See, ladies and gentlemen, we will eventually be sort of going through all, using up all of those enchanted books. It's a lot, I know, but, uh, oh, the last thing I need is an anvil. But first, we need to get the night vision going. Sorry, not night vision, uh, water breathing. What do we need for night vision? A golden carrot. Oh, I got plenty of gold. The question is, do I have a carrot? That might be a slightly different issue. I did be somewhere around here. Yeah, I got a carrot. Okay. Let's go ahead and use said carrot with uh, some of the gold that we have in the shulker box here. All right, there we go. I can still do this, right? Is it only on here that I can do it? Oh, I need his nuggets. Unfortunately, I can't just take that and turn it into nuggets, actually. Uh, so many extra steps. By the way, uh, grab me two dashes of redstone, since we're going to need those. Oh, why can't I get this be simple? Well, to be fair, it could be if I didn't install the mod. Alright, give it, hit it up with a dash of redstone. And welcome back. You have made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed. Hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed. Maybe share this video to anybody who you think will enjoy my content. And also don't forget to check out some of my other stuff. I don't only, I'm not only doing this game, but I also have done a ton of other games. Well, a ton, I think. Cap, uh, I'm not sure how many games I've done at this point, but anyways, here's a little, small little bit of collection of games that I've done. And if you look on screen, it should take you to either another video or a playlist. Maybe you'll enjoy that. Perhaps you might not. I don't know. We will find out. Hope you all enjoyed, and until next one, take it easy.